Okay, so um, materials are uh, materials used for uh, solid propellant uh, manufacturing are ammonium perchlorate is one of the material uh, which is used as oxidizer and uh, powdered aluminium which is used as a fuel and the hyd uh, hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene is used as uh, a polymerizers or to make rubbery binding uh, during curing, curing of the system. So this is curing agent. Now, HTPB is a curing agent. Powder aluminum is fuel. Aluminum perchlorate is oxidizer. So from them, we can manufacture. Another high performance uh, uh, energetic materials uh, like uh, cyclotetramethylene uh, tetranitramine, HMX. We call it as, or sometimes in we can uh, understand this as His Majesty Explosive. We call okay. HMX is as His Majesty Explosive, which is uh, uh, one of uh, the high energy performance material, and which is considered as an oxidizer. And the energetic fuel. Or uh, which is plasticizer or binders are used, such as nitrocellulose, nitroglycerin. So nitrocellulose, nitroglycerin is a devil base propellant type. So we call it as DBP, devil base propellant. Uh, among different form of chemical explosives, such as two, four, six. This is the chemical bonding, the chemical bonding of uh, trinitro uh, nitrotoluene. TNT. rock explode TNT It is called 246 trinitrocellulone, uh, nitrotoluene. So TNT is one of the material. Again, uh, we have uh, uh, we have hexahydro 135 uh, trinitro. 135 uh, tri trazine, uh, that is called RDX. Another name of RDX is Research and Development Explosive. Okay, Research and Development Explosive is also among the high performance uh, uh, energetic materials. And uh, Octa Hydro 1357, Tetra Nitro 1357, uh, tetra, uh, tetra, uh, tetra zin. So HMX. This is also another the HMX composition. Okay. Or another name of this HMX composition is cyclotetramethylene uh, tetranitramine. Okay. So these are uh, some of the high energetic materials used for uh, solid propellant case. Propellant mixtures uh, containing nitrocellulose and nitroglycerin uh, are called devil base propellant. Look, we have nitrocellulose is one of the uh, propellant type. Uh, nitroglycerin is another. Both of them are um, mono, mo, mono, monomers or mono uh, propellant types. When they are combined together, we can get devil base propellant. Okay, that is uh, devil base propellant, which is the detonation velocity of these propellants are uh, 7.7 uh, kilometer per second. As explosive propellant ignites, uh, ingredients are, uh, are called devil base uh, propellant or so devil base powder. So this is uh, some kind of shapes of uh, solid propellants. This is the configuration. You see, it is a star type of devil base propellant. So when we are igniting it from the inner surface, a progressive burning will take place. So what is progressive burning? Look, this type of uh, burning is called pro progressive burning. So that, look, 
the amount of trust produced from progressive burning. This is the trust curve. That is uh, the fundamental uh, curve which we can use. So trust time curve is here. So such kind of propellant gives this kind of burning. Another propellant, the burning will take place from the middle, somewhere here. Okay, it is neutral burning. It is burning outward and inward together at the same moment. So it creates kind of neutral burning. So the slope of the this graph is constant around here, but here it is progressive. And if you see here, the burning produces regressive type. It is a decreasing uh, thrust curve. It goes spontaneously at the moment to higher point and then starts to decreasing down and down. So this is called regressive burning. So devil anchor shape of uh, 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 shape of or configuration of propellant produces uh, regressive burning. But uh, this road and the tube type, road and the tube. This is there is road. This is road and another is tube. So the road will produce. Uh, uh, regressive burning and the tube produce progressive burning, then finally it gives us the uh, neutral burning. And when you see the tubular type of grain uh, geometry, it gives you progressive, continuously progressing. This is the type of burning which we obtain from different shape of propellant. Here you can see the star type, star type of propellant which also gives us the neutral burning. Again, here, here we have multi-fin. There are number of fins are there. So multi-fin uh, configuration gives us uh, dual thrust. This is a dual thrust type. And then uh, dual composition of this type will give us two-step thrust. This is called two-step thrust. But in most cases, the burning types are progressive, neutral, and regressive. So these are the uh, three types of burning. OK. So these are some of the configurations. OK. So solid propellant configuration. So what is the requirement of solid propellant? Well, so propellant charts must meet a variety of uh, conflicting requirements. What are those conflicting requirements? From a performance standpoint, they should burn inward at a burning surface in a constant and predictable manner. That is not usually sensitive to pressure or bulk temperature at rate uh, in the range of 0 0.2 to 20 centimeters per second. This is the burn rate. Burn rate is considered for the propellant is, uh, I can write it with some, where is this thing? Uh, burn rate, propellant burn rate B is equals to uh, A times R the power of N kind. Okay, this type of equations are there. We'll see this, this thing later. Propellant should be as dense as possible, okay, while still producing uh, reaction products of low molecular mass and high temperature. Okay. So density of uh, propellant is required. Highly dense with low molecular mass and which produces high temperature. That is one of the requirements. Uh, for a practical standpoint, still what we have discussed in the performance standpoint, but when we come to practical standpoint, propellant must be insensitive to accidental ignition. When sometimes some propellants are highly susceptible for uh, um, ignition, so that it should not be susceptible for ignition. Okay, and it should be amenable to safe manufacturing and loading. 
uh, one of very susceptible kind of uh, propellant is, uh, for example, the black powder propellant. Black, black powder is very susceptible for ignition. Even with the uh, small shocking or shaking, it immediately uh, caught fire. So that is very sensitive. That is not uh, one of the property or which are from the standpoint of a practical standpoint. Once they have been loading the motor, they must achieve and retain in them mechanical properties necessary to maintain structural integrity and under shipping, storing, and uh, flight conditions. So these chemical ingredients must achieve this whole thing. Since the energetic materials are used in high performance propellants, these high performance propellants are like HMX and the RDX, okay, uh, are often uh, explosives. These are highly explosives, which are manufactured in the propellant is a complex technology involving some special facilities and the restricted safety guidelines. Yeah, so another uh, uh, component of the solid uh, motor is the nozzle itself. So how we can design nozzle? Nozzle contains some converging section. This is the converging section. There is a narrow section known as throat, and there is diverging section. So this helps to uh, make acceleration of the ejected matter through. Okay. So at the uh, divergent section, no, at the convergent section, um, this uh, design is uh, just, it is designed for Mark Lezan 1. Mark Lezan 1 means it is subsonic or just sonic flight or the sonic condition will take place because low velocity, high pressure. Here, in this section, we can see low, uh, low velocity, high pressure. When it comes to here, both pressure and um, that is sonic point. The sonic point is at Mach number one. Mach means uh, speed of object over speed of sound. At Mach one, it designed for Mach one, and um, the differential area is considered zero. And when we come to the supersonic region, that is called divergent region. So in divergent region, there is low pressure, high velocity. Look, around here, we can guess low pressure with high uh, velocity gas coming out here, and it accelerates with high, high velocity. So we have to design our uh, this system with this kind of consideration. Okay, so this is called convergent divergent nozzle. We call it as convergent divergent nozzle. Okay, and <laughs> there is chamber. That is the place where fuel and oxidizer mix together and produce high energetic uh, uh, propellant uh, uh, temperature and which will accelerate towards this, to this direction. So these are the way how we can design the nozzle. Okay, so uh, the counter is initially convergent and then to the throat section then after it goes to the supersonic section. So that is uh, the nozzle design. So nozzle is like that. Beyond the throat, the channel is diverging and the flow accelerates to high supersonic speed with corresponding pressure decrease. That is the meaning. Okay. So the ideal nozzle design depends strongly on application. <coughs> Sorry. So most applications require at least some use of insulation or a specific high temperature material. So for that purpose, uh, we use uh, graphite as one of uh, high temperature resistance material. Uh, maraging steel is also another material for such application. So nozzle is especially the nozzle uh, highly erosive section of the nozzle must be. Uh, made with these materials. Okay, so this uh, 
is uh, how we can design the uh, nozzle. So this is kind of simple uh, example, but it is better after taking these uh, equations because we didn't drive this equation. So now we cannot talk about this uh, uh, exercise, the nozzle design exercise. Later, once we drive all the equations, then we can come to here. So another force component of solid rocket motor is the igniter. So the igniter in solid rocket motor provides a means of heating the surface of the heat heating the surface of propellant charge to a high temperature to induce combustion. So that is the point where in uh, uh, ignition initiation will take place. And this material igniters contain high energetic material like black powder, the one which is easily caught by fire. Okay, so black powder or um, uh, metallic oxidizer mixture are required. In addition to the chemical black powder, we need some electric skew, which electric skew are uh, the electrical system which helps to ignite the black powder. And also the igniter casing is also should be designed based on the free uh, space on the combustion chamber. Okay, so in that way we can design igniter. So the large motors, the igniter may be fed into a miniature motor consisting, miniature means a small motor, another. So containing a fast burning propellant charge. So this black powder or other are very fast burning propellant charges, which exhausts into the main motor to produce ignition and pressurization. So most ignition system include some kind of arming feature that prevents ignition by uh, unintended uh, stimuli. So we need some protective means, ignition protective means because these are very sensitive materials which can easily ignite at the moment a small shaking or uh, movement is there so that we have to keep this material in safe some kind of arming device. Uh, ignition system for solid rocket motor uh, are two types. Pyro, uh, pyrogen igniters and pyrotechnic igniters are the two types. Okay, so uh, so these pyrogen igniters are used for large rocket motors, such as the ballistic missiles and others. And the pyrotechnics are for small rocket motors. We use for small rocket pyrotechnic igniters. Okay, so these are uh, chemicals which are uh, sensitive chemicals. The igniter induce the combustion reaction in controlled and predictable manner by uh, generating heat flux in the form of hot, dense gases that rapidly ignite the propellant surface. The propellant exposes the surface. Okay. Uh, in some cases, we inhibit the propellant surface from burning. So not from the inhibited surface, but exposed surface of propellant will easily caught by fire due to the flux effect of the uh, igniters. Okay, so the igniter also contributes towards the generation of certain minimum pressure inside the motor. That is adequate for suitable and sustainable combustion of the pro. So uh, sustainable combustion is required. Unless and otherwise, we can face with the failure of the total rocket. If there is a failure in the ignition system, then we can face with the failure of the rocket itself. So uh, that is, we need uh, stable and sustainable, sustained combustion. These are some type of uh, igniters, pyrotechnic igniters. Okay. And the composition of pyrotechnic igniters are potassium nitrate, um, uh, uh, ammonium perchlorates, Okay, so ammonium nitrates are also are used. Uh, aluminium, 
you know, boron, magnesium are used as fuel. But these are potassium nitrates. Uh, others are, this, these compositions are as oxidizers. When we mix them together, uh, finally we can get uh, with some kind of plasticizers. These are called binding agents. Plasticizers are binders or the binding agents. So using this composition, we can uh, uh, make a pyrotechnic igniter. So it consists of fuel, oxidizer, and binder, uh, mainly uh, curing agents. And sometimes we use some additives, which are accelerating the burning rate. Additives, which are, can accelerate. So these are the pyrotechnic igniters. And this is the black powder charge, which is uh, inside of this box. So we add this black powder into this box. There are igniter cap is there. We cap it. And then say, there are some perforations. You see these small dots are called perforations. So whenever there is electrical ignition or some kind of uh, scoop or um, ele electrical signal comes into them, immediately they will caught with fire and immediately spreads the fire into the propellant exposed surface. By doing that, the rocket will easily, uh, uh, the rocket, the solid propellant will easily be burned. So this is the type of uh, electrical system. Okay, this is with uh, any pyrogen with quick deep type. So these filaments are sometimes uh, we use uh, 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 mercury fermulate. Mercury fermulate is one of uh, the most important type of ignition. It is the mercury, but very expensive mercury, which is called mercury fermulate. Or sometimes we use a simple electrical like uh, copper wires. If the uh, application of rocket is for simple case, then we can use some kind of copper wires, but uh, mercury fermionate is the one. Okay, so uh, this is ignition system. So in ignition of solid rocket motor, a series of events will take place in a tightly timed sequence starting with application of an electric pulse, the first, then ignition of the first fire element or scoop or pyro cartridge. And the third sequence is generation of flash or filaments. And then amplification of the flash by primers. And then building up a flash to a strong flame by main igniter charge. So we have, there is main igniter charge and there are uh, initial ignition charge. So this will sequentially uh, produce uh, an appropriate ignition for the rocket. Okay. So uh, yeah. So this these are another pyrogen igniter. The previous one is pyrotechnic, and this is pyrogen igniter. So what it contains? The pyrogen igniters are the function to furnish a controlled high temperature, high pressure gas to ignite solid propellant surface in a motor, uh, rocket motor. So it <coughs> consists of this kind of attachment. There is a uh, um, pyrogen grain. This is a pyrogen grain is there. Pyrogen uh, canister is there. Again, there is nichrome uh, igniter wire, nichrome wire, nickel chromium wire. So which are the winds of wires are here. So, so this is igniter lead. And the igniter body is here fixed to the, uh, uh, so this is actually a, re a recharge NACA experimental rotary website. You can use, you see this website, HTTPS, www.naka, uh, uh, rocketary.net slash igniter.html. So in this, you can find these igniters, various types of igniters. So this is a pyrogen igniter, the complete uh, exploded drawing of pyrogen igniter. This is called exploded drawing. 
which shows you where the attachments of each of the assembly. So general requirement of igniter. Uh, the first requirement is the temperature of the propellant surface should be raised above auto ignition temperature. The second requirement is motor chamber pressure should be raised above threshold pressure requirement for suitable burning of the propellant. The third one is ignition delay. That is known as time delay for application of an electric pulse to a point where 10% of the motor peak pressure is achieved. Okay, that uh, should be within a specified limit. And then the fourth step is, or the fourth requirement is the rate of pressure rise. That means dp, dt. Uh, there are some curves. Here I didn't uh, show you the curves. So DPDT in the motor chamber during ignition transient should not be uh, high leading to undesirable peak or shock loads. And then the igniter should satisfy the functional environmental as well as self-life storage requirements. So these are some of the igniter requirements. And the fifth element in solid rocket motor is the insulator. Insulator is the one which separates the external, the outer uh, body of the um, motor and the inside very hot uh, region of the motor. So an insulator in solid rocket motor is, it is a layer, a layer of heat protection material, which is placed in between the internal surface of the casting or casing material and expose the external surface of the burning propeller. So the use of insulator material is just to prevent the casing from attainment of high temperature and which protects the casing or outer uh, part of the motor uh, from damage. So as I have uh, discussed previously, the internal temperature inside the chamber is 200, no, 2000 to 3500 Kelvin, which is very high temperature. So once this temperature comes out, the external body will burn out. So we have to uh, separate it from, uh, by using some heat resistance material. So insulator materials are characterized by very low uh, thermal conductivity, good capacity of ablative cooling and high heat capacity. That is the property of insulator materials. Okay. Thermal, low thermal conductivity, good capacity of ablative cooling and high heat capacity. And the most common thermal insulation material is ethylene uh, propylene uh, dyne monomer, ethylene propellant dyne monomer, we call it as EPDM, with some reinforcing materials, okay, additional reinforcing material. So this is uh, just a small summary of the uh, solid propellant uh, uh, motor, solid rocket motor, solid rocket motor casing, insulation, igniter, nozzle, solid propellant. So everything is here. This is the igniter. Okay, this is the propellant grain. Okay, this is the cylindrical or uh, circular perforation for the uh, progressive burning. And there are some slots in the grain. We can provide some slots for the grain. Okay, and there are also insulation system here. This is insulation system or inhibition system. Uh, nozzle through the critical region so that we place uh, the graphite material or kind of uh, margin steel at this region because this is very erosive region that the abrasive wear out of material will take place at this point. So to protect that, we can insert some pro protective material, material with high resistance to wear will be placed here. So that is nozzle throat insertion. And this is the nozzle exit cone, or the divergent region of the nozzle. Okay, yeah, so this is the motor casing. 
this is simply cylindrical motor casing is there okay yeah so so this is uh, what uh, i don't know if we start liquid propellant system we may not finish it uh, uh, it is better to see this liquid propellant case in the next class. So if any question today, you can ask. Yeah, Hello? Hello? Okay, doctor. I need to get link. Okay, so let's see on the uh, liquid propellant when general answer so uh, next uh, Nyalan Leluch Wless so yellow what one Christian Zaudunar Sema Bichana Chuala Chut. Okay, so Maxenio and Nazi Yenante Sinero Chizoya Maxenio Sensat Lilam Sari Art Maricella Maxenio Trat Trat Niklas Allen is you. Which arranger got you? Becca, and the Zargushi. Maxangan Savata Kuli is seen a rich mechanical vibration on Lacho. Lazana. Okay, see you.